Well, each month the Greenville Chamber recognizes an outstanding small business of the month, and today we present Good Sense Automation with the July Small Business of the Month Award. We're joined by Kevin with the Greenville Chamber and Shan with the Good Sense Automation and some of his students. Thank you so much for being here with us. Awesome. We appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Kevin, let's start with you guys. You come on here every month and you yeah. present a Small Business of the Month Award. Uh, what made you guys choose these folks? Well, the Small Business of the Month Award is a way to recognize our investors who have impacted the community in such a way. Uh, their nominations and then uh, applications. Mm -hmm. uh, so the selection was because of the impact of, of what Good Sense Automation and Shane has done within the community as well at the chambers. Well, uh, so brought and, that about. Yeah, and you guys are all about making sure that these folks have all the resources they need to be mm -hmm. successful. So we love being able to shout out these businesses that people may not know about in the community. That's right. And Shan, tell us about Good Sense Automation. What made you want to start start this? And we see some crazy things going on over <laughs> here. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Right. But what made you get into automation? Uh, well, honestly, it was just having to work on things around the house with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> being introduced to technology early, and um, it gave me the confidence that I can't solve problems. And it also gave me an adaptive capability that I can look at something and relate it to something I know and move forward with it. So after, of course, some traditional education after that, um, and my interest and curiosity led me down this path. So kids, there is some method to the madness when your, kid, your parents are like, go fix that, go figure it out. <laughs> Absolutely, yourself, right? Absolutely. And, and you have some high school students here? Yes, have some interns with me yeah. today. Well, tell, introduce yourselves, guys. You have some mics over there. Uh, my name is Dylan Dobe, and I go to Greer High School. Hi, I'm Kushi, and I go to Woodmont High School. Hello, I'm Esmeralda, and I go to Berea High School. Awesome. And what do you guys like working with Shan and do, learning about automation? Is this something that you guys want to do when you, when you grow up? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so what has been the, fun, the most fun part about it? Yeah, see, I would, I would have to say like, I, the problem solving, because it's, like, it's like a lot of steps you got to take to get to the uh, final step. So yeah, yeah. problem solving. And I'm sure at home your parents are like, well, if you can run this robot, you can figure out how to make this thing yeah. work. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you guys like about it? Tell us. Yeah, I think the problem solving is really fun about it, and then you get to work with a robot like that and kind of mess with it and play with it. It's kind of like a game. Awesome. But also, you got to be careful, you know? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at it over here. i, I got to try to be careful, too. Honestly, these two already took the words out of my mouth. The same thing. Problem solving is really fun and just working with robots in general is yeah. crazy. Is this something you guys want to do when you when you grow up? Is this a uh, future you see? Yes, yeah, sir. I, I want to go to Megatronics. Well, luckily, we have lots of places here in the upstate. You don't have to move too far to get into automation. Um, Absolutely. So, so talk about some of the other projects that you guys work on and explain what this, what this machine does. Okay, this is a robot, but it's also a collaborative robot. Traditionally, robots have been fenced in, they couldn't work. This robot can work hand in hand with people. And a lot of times people think, well, robots are taking jobs. So that's not the case. It enhances human capability. But it's also, when you look at 3% of unemployment in South Carolina, it's what we need to keep doing the right. things we're doing here in, here in the upstate. Um, we work with local companies like Tropical Foods, Dayless Industrial, as well as large international companies like Electrolux and BMW. Okay, so those are major employers, mm -hmm. and, and yes. some in the upstate too, which are fantastic to be able to have these people going out and doing these things. So you, you shouldn't fear the, the robots, you should like embrace them. Yes, it actually, what it is, the, 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 the robots can do the dull, dirty, and dangerous work, <laughs> and then humans get to do the creative and fun work. Awesome. So that, that, they're definitely a great collaborator to have. Yeah, so what does this machine do specifically? Um, well, right now, this is just um, this robot. Um, we're using it for testing. So we don't have a, an, an industrial application, but the limit is your imagination. This robot can actually assemble. It could weld. It, you're actually seeing these show up in food service. Mm -hmm. So again, the limit is the human imagination and human creativity. I was just in a factory. We were doing a zip trip in Liberty, and I saw, I'm pretty sure this application that's very similar to this, like, making things you know absolutely so there are lots of applications yes. for that so for folks looking to get in touch with you to maybe find out how this automation can help them in their mm -hmm. manufacturing uh they can just reach out to you on on your website or um yes goodsenseautomation.com or email me at shan at goodsenseautomation.com awesome and, and kevin for folks looking yes. to be uh, connected with the chamber to figure out how they can be you know included in some of these and maybe be eligible for the small business of the month award what is absolutely. the best way for them to contact absolutely you? Uh, go to our website greenfieldchamber.org uh, we have a section there that businesses can nominate those that they feel like um, should have some recognition or even self-nomination and then from there we have an application process that we utilize the small business growth series uh, committee. Awesome. Well, thank you all so much for being Thanks. here. Best of luck, young people, on your next step awesome. in the automation career. And Shan, thank you so much. Thank for being you. Here. Congratulations on the Small Business thank you. Award again. Awesome.